my fellow graduates, what a huge honor to be part of this class of 24. We did it, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't want to take anything away from the most important thing here today, which is all of you, and what you've achieved. But before I get into that, I want to thank FIU for having me here today and for the honorary doctorate they're so generously bestowing. Thank you to the trustee, Chair Roger Tavar, President Kenneth Jessel, Provost Elizabeth Bajar, Dean Michael Chang, Shivani Joshi, Faculty Senate, the Chaplain School of Hospitality, and of course the TAs from the David Grutman Experience. I also want to thank my students who attended my class over the five years. Teaching has brought me more joy than I could ever imagine, and nothing has been more rewarding than spending time with you. Really, it's been one of the most challenging yet most rewarding highlights of my life. And lastly, I want to thank my wife, Isabella. We just celebrated eight years anniversary this week, and my incredible kids, Kai and Vita, who actually attended the class many times. This doctorate means a huge amount to me, in particular, because I've, because I've always wanted to raise my hand when they come on the loudspeaker on the plane and ask if there's a doctor on board. <laughs> okay, now back to you. The graduates, getting through school isn't easy. There's a lot of distractions, challenges, but we've made it. Uh, I want to congratulate you all on making it here today. I'm impressed, and I'm sure your family and friends are as well. I was reading through the FIU criteria is for honorary degrees. And there was a section of bold that said extraordinary distinction in a field or endeavor. Wow, the recognition really is an honor. But I think it's important to say that extraordinary distinction does not come easy. It's a lot of hard work, sacrifice, like you're about to do when you leave here. It's always a work in progress, but it's a journey that makes life satisfying. The journey you're about to embark upon is the fun part. Even when the challenges come up and the failures occur, getting through these is what builds character. It's what builds grit, and it's what builds compassion. If you're here now, you've already proven that you have the ability to face these challenges. And that's great, because there are going to be many more. Um, if I could impart anything to you I take away from today's ceremony, it would be to emphasize three things that have, I think have helped me along the way. Take it personal, relationships, and play long ball. All these things are part of my DNA. Let's start with taking it personal. Let me be the person to tell you, don't take it personal is crazy. Take it personal. It's just business, ah, take it personal. The number one reason why I win is because I take it personal, and it's my business. This applies to any field, but let me talk about how it refers to me in hospitality. I want you to know why someone is eating in another restaurant and not mine. I want to know why they're going to another nightclub and not mine. I want to know why they're staying in another hotel and not mine. Because if I take it personal, we're gonna, and you take it personal, we're gonna win. For instance, there's a restaurant next to Poppy Steak. It's called Milo's. It's one of my favorite restaurants, don't tell anyone. There's a big window in front of it, and sometimes I like to look in the window and see if I know anyone eating in there. If I look straight at them and I see somebody that I know, I look them straight in the eyes and I go like this. Because <laughs> I take it personal. So they know that I'm taking it personal. That's how much it means to me. Next is relationships. People love to talk about my Rolodex, but it didn't just appear. And the reason why I have such a great relationship it's not because I went out there to build a Rolodex, but I went out there to listen to people's stories. I went out there to get to know people. It's amazing what you learn from, taking, from talking to everyone at the dinner table and not just the famous person. I went out there to make real, authentic relationships with great people, and guess what, guys? They weren't all great when they started. Uh, it takes being there. It takes showing up. It takes being their biggest cheerleader. It takes being the, being the shoulder that people cry on. It takes giving them the push to get back up. Just like you, people in life have ups and downs. That's not a real relationship if you're just there for the ups. Nobody remembers who's with them when they're up.
but I promise you, everybody remembers who was there for them when they were, when they were down. I believe in win-win business, where both parties win, not just one side. If I win, and if I win, and the other one doesn't, then it's a loss. I always go into every business negotiation with the mindset of win-win. I always put myself on the other side of the table because knowing where they're coming from helps you to put things in perspective. And I always try to add value to any relationship that I have. If I can do something to put someone in a better light, a better situation, I want to be that person. You need to do that for people. This builds relationships. Sometimes it's also about relationships between other people. Be the super connector. I hear this all the time. You have the best connections out there. Well, I got this from being the best connector. Connect two great people together. They might do great things together. They might make a lot of money together. But don't ever ask for anything in return. Don't be that person that connects and then asks, where's my percentage? Or what do I get out of it? Just be happy that you help make people make that happen. Don't worry. It's a long life. And by not being that person, it's paid off 10 times over for me. When you do something for someone that can't do something for you, it changes something in you. I hear that quote all the time, and in my experience, I can tell you how true it is. You're gonna be hearing from people to network, network, network. Well, I don't network. I wanna go over this networking thing for a second. I asked my student one time what they do to build relationships, and one said, I network. I said, I hate networking, because networking to me is inauthentic. You should build real, true relationships with people. Don't care about networking. Care about building authentic relationships. Now, the long ball. When I started this business, I was a bartender in a restaurant in the Aventura Mall. Uh, I became passionate about hospitality. I became passionate about serving. And I wanted to become a leader. I was making $100,000 a year as that bartender. I went to my general manager and I said, I want to be a manager. They said, that entry-level manager only pays $33,000 a year. I said, great, I'll take it. Uh, don't worry, it all worked out at the end. Um, <laughs> sometimes you have to take two steps back to, ten, to take 10 steps forward. Uh, and you have to start to realize that there's ceilings to jobs, guys. Ceiling to is instead, I bet on my, so instead of the ceiling, I wanted to bet on myself. Don't worry. Uh, Betting on yourself now, it's the time. As you leave here, don't be afraid to take these chances while you're still young, because this is not the end of you learning, this is just the beginning. And this is the time for you to seek out what's your passion, what's going to fulfill you, what's going to get you excited to wake up and rush to the meeting. My business is not nine to five, it's 24 hours a day. Could you imagine if I didn't love what I do, would I be able to take that call at two in the morning for that bottle table reservation, but still be in the office for that budget meeting at 9 a.m.? Now, back to the Aventura Mall. The owner of the mall, the restaurant there was Jeff Sofer, and he owns the Aventura Mall. And when he bought the Fountain Blue, he asked me to be his partner in the nightclub. That most iconic nightclub in the world is called Live. And, he, <laughs> and he's my partner today on all my nightclubs. So relationships start now. And I, after a while, I realized I didn't want to just be a nightclub guy. I wanted to be a hospitality guy. In doing so, I wanted to open a restaurant. Now at the time, Liv had been open for four years and we've made millions of dollars together. So of course, when I went to raise money for my first restaurant, I went to Jeff Sofer to invest and he said, nah, you're not a restaurant guy, you're a nightclub guy. That restaurant was Komodo. Uh, and yes, that restaurant was the highest grossing independent restaurant in America last year. Now, even better, when Jeff Sofer is opening the Fountain Blue in Las Vegas, he had, uh, what restaurant do you think he has to be part of it? Komodo. Now that's how you play long ball. Another great example of playing long is we get a lot of celebrities in our venues, some of the biggest, most pressworthy people in the world. Some visit our venues, while in Miami, they visit my competition. That's, that's the way it is. But, the only, but my competition thinks the only way to get press is to do bad press. And 
If we don't get press, I won't do bad press, guys. Any press, even bad press. For me, I would rather miss out on the press opportunity if it means bad press for someone else. I'm going to play the long ball. And with it, I may never get any press from it. But it's okay, guys, because once you burn trust, once you burn trust, it's so hard to get back. And if you burn someone, it affects such a wild group of people. In a celebrity's case, you've also burned the manager, the publicist, the agent, and it takes away from them wanting to send their clients to me. It's better for people to feel good and protected. They will stay with you for years, not a day. Guys, I'm not standing before you today because I'm only successful for a night, a week, a month, a year. I'm here for a long game. I'm here to put, to not just build a few brands, but to build a legacy. You're all going to be, build legacies. So make sure your legacy is one that you're proud of. Make sure it's one that I'm going to be proud of. Thank you for being part of my legacy. Go Panthers!